Hello, I'm practicing the double stop section in the Kreisler Preludium and Allegro and um, after a coaching with uh, René Paul Gauthier and also some <laughs> observations that Suzanne Cox gave me, I'm going more to, towards the frog, towards the lower half of, uh, of the bow so that the string crossings are smaller, so I don't have to do this with my whole arm, but I can, I can do something like this, which makes complete sense, but <laughs> I haven't uh, actually, I don't know, maybe resisted doing that because I wanted the sound to be soft and round. Anyway, so now, I'm kind of giving up on this idea for now and I want to play it more in tempo and uh, for that I'm also time to change the left hand because uh, if it's not completely legato then <laughs> there's just this little extra breathing time to change the fingers. And um, I put this to the metronome uh, to 70 which is maybe it's a completely viable tempo, maybe a little bit slower than I have played the rest of the piece, but in the interest of being consistent, I will do that. And then when I come to this double stop section, I might repeat things so that um, I have um, the bow right, but uh, I have more time for the left hand. point and um, it's also interesting I mean there are these uh, like <laughs> these really uh, uh, challenging uh, finger patterns like uh, D D E and then have the fifth seal with E and B and then the E string free and, um, but I find that actually one of the later ones where I have to play like, um, I don't know, F sharp and then E and A, the fourth interval. That's all. 
also not so easy. And I think one other uh, one that I am now not really seeing. Anyway, so maybe putting this to 65. <laughs> like one two and then two empty one three and two empty a g c e um, if i have this one to put the c down and leave the e free so one um, recommendation that I got from Rene was um, to have my left elbow positioned so far in that I don't have to do much swinging back and forth so but um, yeah lifting the first finger here and um, I think I will continue to do that for for now so let's see challenging in leaving the E string free. So this one, the C4 in first finger. time on the video doing this so I think I'll stop here and do some more on my own and uh, 
I'm quite happy that finally, after all this time I've spent with this uh, someone, <laughs> showed me the way of how to do it, um, how to make it faster, because all my practice, practicing, although I didn't intend to necessarily, it made my left hand better, but uh, intonation was getting better and better, but <laughs> I was not speeding up. <laughs> So now it seems to happen, so that's nice. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye for now.